美国建筑大师路易康的回顾展最近在北美馆举行，包括安藤忠雄和台湾已故的大师汉堡德的建筑都受到他的影响。他三岁的时候，因为太靠近火炉遭到毁容。父亲认为他的人生大概没有希望了，结果他大器晚成。他五十岁才得到设计公共建筑的机会，但是短短两年他就要上了国际舞台。他是二十世纪影响最深远的建筑大师之一，被称为是建筑界的哲学家。这个模仿 DNA 双螺旋化学结构、有九层楼高的建筑模型，是美国建筑大师路易康和伙伴安婷一九五零年共同发想创作的费城塔。而这项计划终究未能实现。This big model here, because we think it's a it's a key project for Kahn's、um, looking into、uh, science, into natural science, and、uh, seeking for, seeking for inspiration. Um, seeing that、uh, nature, as he once said, always geom geometricizes. So the the tiniest building、uh, parts of nature are actually geometric if you look under the microscope. And so it's an example of an architecture that、uh, looks for inspiration by nature to to for, for building structures. 建筑大师路易康大器晚成，五十二岁时才凭设计耶鲁大学艺廊要上国际舞台。知名作品还包括一九八三年完工的孟加拉国民议会大厦，最近的是二零一二年十月才完工的罗斯福纪念公园。而其中大师的成名作就是这个一九五九年的美国加州沙克研究中心。For many, it's his first masterpiece.、Uh, it's beautifully built of concrete. Uh, the relationship of the laboratories to the studies it functions beautifully, but it's this central space that looks out to the Pacific Ocean that really captures one's imagination and really elevates this place of science of a laboratory into something transcendent, something much greater. So the model shows the relationship of the buildings to the site. There's this beautiful topography. 被誉为建筑界哲学家的路易康，以简洁的几何造型以及融合自然科学的创作理念，深深影响包括安藤忠雄以及诺曼福斯特等当代建筑大师。展览巡回荷兰、德国、挪威等地，透过近两百件的建筑模型、设计手稿、历史照片，建构大师的理念。He was always thinking deeply about architecture, so there was no formula, there was no simple definition for him. The building that you create, the work you do, is an offering to a larger idea. You know that idea for him was architecture, right?、Uh, and so the sayings he has about architecture were really meant to inspire thought about what's important. 亚洲唯一的建筑致敬展览带我们回顾建筑大师路易康精彩的人生。